بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد To attain taqwa and strong iman, we have to do, of course, righteous deeds. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets us know that He loves those who do righteous deeds and that those who avoid the righteous deeds, they are in a loss. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Asr, وَالْعَسَرْ إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرِ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصُوا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصُوا بِالصَّرْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets us know that belief, belief iman that Allah makes the exception that mankind is in a loss إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا except those who believe وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ and do righteous deeds وَتَوَاصُوا بِالْحَقِّ and call to the haqq, call to the truth what to wassail with sabr and and it, practice patience and exhort others to patience. These are characteristics of the believer. And since it's the holy month of Ramadan, may Allah accept it from us and forgive us of our sins. We should strive to do righteous deeds. Read the Quran much, staying in dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa taala. You know, reciting. Verses of the Quran and those and supplicating much to Allah and remembering the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying dhikr reminders like being in the remembrance of Allah like for example Alhamdulillah Allahu Akbar Subhanallah Alhamdulillah Wallahu Akbar Subhanallah Wa Bahamdi Subhanallah Aladim all these ways of glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So stay in the remembrance of Allah by glorifying Him much and praising Him. Tabarakah wa ta'ala. And amongst the many ahadith the Prophet ﷺ mentioned about righteous deeds. He was asked by Abdullah, by Abdullah, uh, by Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala an. He said, Ayya a'mal uhibbu illallah azza wa jal. He said, which deeds are beloved to Allah Azza wa Jal, the, the, the Almighty, subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet wasallam responded by saying, Salat ala waqtiha. He said, Salat in its time. Some of the ulama, they say that this means Salat in its earliest time. Especially if you are connected to a jama'ah. For example, it's, it's better to delay Salat al-Isha. But the other prayers, it's best to pray them as soon as they come in. Or with the jama'ah. So Salat ala waqtiha, the Prophet wasallam said. Then Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, Thumma ay, he said, then what? The Prophet wasallam responded by saying, Bitter walidain, being kind to one's parents, serving one's parents. Then he said, "Thumma ay." Then he said, "Then what?" Then he said, "Jihad fi sabilillah." He said, "Striving in the cause of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala." قال حدثني بهن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ولو استزاده لزادني. He said, and Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told me this. And if I would have sought more from him, he would have given me more. So this hadith gives us just, it's just one hadith mentioning some of the deeds that we can, we can strive to do. And from the two that were most easily, easy upon us, that are high deeds, because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned them, and they're mentioned in all kind of verses in the Qur'an, and the person who leaves the prayer is uh, considered a disbeliever, 
to many of the ulama, many of the scholars of Islam and the Sahaba were united upon takfir and that the person who was, uh, uh, who left the prayer being a disbeliever or, or, or a pure hypocrite. They, they had consensus on that. Letting us know how serious it is, do not leave your salat. So that's one thing we can do, salat ala waktiha, make the prayer, the salat, in its time. And especially in its earliest time. And if you're a man and you're able to, in the jama'ah, in the, in the, the congregational prayer. And the next one is bitter wadadain. So for those of us who are blessed to still have our parents, whether they be Muslim or non-Muslim, serve them. Try to be obedient to them. Be kind to them. Kind words, gentle with them. Uh, uh, do what they ask of you as long as it isn't in disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those things we can do. Those are some deeds that we can do during this holy month and ways that we can come closer to Allah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.